Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Classification of Polygons We classify polygons according to the number of sides they have. For example, look at the first figure. It has three sides. Or we can say it has three vertices. Vertices are the points where the sides meet. So we can see there are three vertices. And we name it as triangle. Now look at the second figure. It has got four sides. So we name it as quadrilateral. Next figure has five sides and it is called a pentagon. Similarly, a six-sided figure is called a hexagon. A seven-sided figure will be called a heptagon. Eight-sided figure is called a octagon. Nine-sided figure will be called a nonagon. Ten-sided figure is called a decagon. And after ten, any number of sides will be like for example 11 sided figure will be 11 gone and 12 sided will be 12 gone and n sided figure will be n gone. Let us now define diagonals. A diagonal is a line segment connecting two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. Let us consider this hexagon. We start from point A. Then the consecutive vertices of vertex A are B and F. Now leaving B and F, if we join A with C, A with D, and A with E then the line AC AD and AE are the diagonals of hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F. To understand convex and concave polygons, let us look at this pentagon. We know that the area covered within the sides of this pentagon is called the interior of the pentagon while the area covered outside these boundaries is called the exterior. Now we are in a position to define convex polygon. It says that the convex polygons have no portion of their diagonals in their exteriors. Clearly, if we draw the diagonals from point A for this pentagon, we can see that AC and AD, both diagonals, lie in the interior of the pentagon. Similarly, 
if we draw diagonals from vertex C, then EB and EC also lie in the interior of the pentagon. Likewise, we can check for all the vertices. If we draw diagonals from vertex D, then DA and DB will also lie in the interior of this pentagon. Similarly, from vertex C, CA and CE will lie in the interior of the pentagon. So we can say that pentagon is a convex polygon. Now consider another polygon PQRS. Let us draw a diagonal from vertex Q. We get QS which is in the interior of PQRS. Let us see what about the diagonal from point R. We can see that diagonal from vertex R that is PR is in the exterior of PQRS. Hence we can say that PQRS is not a convex polygon and we define a concave polygon as a polygon which have portion of its diagonal in its exterior is called a concave polygon and that means that PQRS is a concave polygon. But in this class we will only deal with convex polygons. Let us define regular and irregular polygons. A polygon whose all sides and all angles are equal are called regular polygons. For example, equilateral triangle, a square, a pentagon are regular polygons. As in an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. Similarly, in a square, all the sides are equal and all the angles are 90 degree and they are equal. Similarly, in a pentagon, all the sides are equal and all the angles will be equal. Let us now define irregular polygons. A polygon whose either sides or angles or both are not equal are called irregular polygons. For example, Consider a rectangle. Although all its angles are equal, but all the sides are not equal. Only opposite sides are equal. Hence, it is a irregular polygon. Similarly, a right triangle is also an irregular polygon because Neither its side nor angles are equal.